Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today I want to share with you a really cool process that I just went through with one of my clients. I have been working on this for several months, trying to figure out the best way to go about it, and I think I found the key. So I have hosted a lot of my sites in the past on Bluehost. The reason why I've hosted them on Bluehost is because you would get a free email address with hosting. You could have as many email addresses as you wanted. And so I thought, you know what, this is worth it for my clients. They're going to save the money. Cause like with Wix, if you set up a business email, I think it's six or $7 a month, you get Google workspace. And so I thought, you know, for like 72 bucks a year, at least we're going to save these people some money. Let's just go with Bluehost. Well, that was several years ago. And some of my clients are running into some issues. So one, a lot of times they're like if they have like Apple mail or something, it logs them out routinely. And it's hard to get back log back to logged in. It's hard to remember the um, ingoing and outcoming mail servers. Sometimes Bluehost has kind of switched them on me, all of this. And so I've really wanted to try to get people moved over to Google workspace to kind of smooth over the transitions. I've also had some people who want to set up their email on an iPad or an iPhone. And for some reason I enter in the information and it says no password available. I'm like, what does that even mean? I have searched for hours. We've gone to the Apple store. It has been complete chaos and super annoying. So at first I went down the rabbit hole of um, exporting all of their email and then trying to delete their email from the current host and then move everything over to Wix. That is still an option. However, I want to show you this really cool option that didn't require a bunch of deleting. And also this client does a lot of business. And so they couldn't have their email be down for like seven to 14 days. It just wasn't feasible at this time. So I'm going to show you. Um, and the reason that it would have to be down seven to 14 days would be if we would delete the current Bluehost and then transfer the domain over and then create a new email with Wix. It just was not feasible. It might be for some, but it was not for them. So I want to show you how I integrated Google Workspace via Wix and made this all work. So I actually had to create some graphics because it was a little bit confusing. And I wanted to share them with you. Okay, so your email is hosted elsewhere. So in our case, our email is hosted at Bluehost. And then I really, really wanted to use Google Workspace because a lot of my clients' emails were going to spam. And then there was some of the um, trying to figure out the incoming and outgoing mail settings, remembering passwords, things like that, where it was like, oh, if I could just get Google Workspace to work, this would just be gold, right? And as you can see here, ta-da, I just wanted this like great email experience for my clients because if there's one thing that sucks the life out of everyone, it's working through email issues, right? Nobody loves it. If you love it, comment below because you're an oddball. Okay, um, so here is where you're going to move through the steps and they're just uh, five easy steps here. So screenshot this right now and work through these steps. One, purchase business email through Wix. So on your Wix dashboard, you're going to scroll down to communications and go to business email. And here first, this is just a sample site. So I haven't connected to domain. So I'm going to need to connect my domain and I'm going to do that through pointing, which there's other videos about that. You can look that up. You probably already have this done if you're watching this video. But you're gonna make sure that your um, DNS settings are set to point from, in this case, Bluehost pointed to Wix, okay? And then once you have your domain connected to your site and your site is live, then you can come back to this business email page and click start new email, purchase my email, get started. So, when Wix asks you to give your desired email address, type in your current email address, even though it's hosted elsewhere. So if my email hosted at Bluehost was emily at the Wix I'm going to enter that right into Wix too. And you may think, how is this going to work? That's what I, that's what I thought too, but it worked and it's amazing. So do that and then follow the steps in Wix to set up Google Workspace. It's gonna look just like a Gmail account. Then step four, the password for Google Workspace will be different than your current email password. So you can set up a new Google Workspace with a brand new password. And then when you log into your email from now on, 
you can use that Gmail password, which is amazing. So for example, if I would just go to my Apple mail app, or if you had like, I don't even know, like Microsoft office or something, and you wanted to like, um, access your email, you would set it up as a Gmail and then enter in your email and password. So my email would be Emily at the Wix collective.com. It's not a Gmail, but I'm under Google workspace now. So it is acting as a Gmail. And then I would enter in the password that I created here in the Google workspace account setup. Then the final step would be set your MX records to match Google. So I typed into Google <laughs> the uh, activate Gmail for Google Workspace via Bluehost. So then I can scroll down here and I'll just take you through this process. Yours might look a little bit different depending on your provider. Open Bluehost, sign in, scroll down to DNS under that particular domain that you want to use scroll to the MX record. Now I'm just gonna give you a little tip here. Mine did not have this remove option. I just had to change it and then it automatically supplemented the new for the old. It kind of freaked me out, but everything worked out okay. And then add your record points to SMPT, smtpgoogle.com, hit save, and you should be good to go. So, um, Oh, and then you'll have to do this, sorry, this final step, tell Google Workspace to activate Gmail. Return, return to your browser tab where you left the Google Workspace setup tool open, scroll to the bottom of the page and click activate Gmail. Um, you're gonna need to do that after you point to your new Gmail, you're gonna have to activate Gmail. So I should have put in a sixth step on here, set your MX records to match Google and then click activate Gmail. This stuff makes my brain hurt, but I just want to put this out there in case there's someone out there who is having the same trouble as me. If you know what I'm talking about, comment below because I just feel very passionate about this because it has seriously bugged me for so long. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm not an email expert, but I help people with their emails all the time. So I thought maybe I would just share this with you and hopefully this helps somebody out there understand that you can have Google Workspace. Even if your um, site is hosted elsewhere, it can point to Wix and then you can purchase Google Workspace through Wix and access your email through that. It works. It really does work. So hopefully this helped you. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with me. And if you have any questions, please put them below. I might be able to help you or make some new videos or point you in the right direction. Please just, um, I know how it is when you're searching for email help and it's so hard because you talk to your hosting service and they're not happy that you're using Wix and not their software. You talk to Wix and they're like, well, I'll just transfer to Wix. And you're like, Hey, it's not that easy. Okay. Thank you. So it's, uh, it's nice to talk to humans sometimes. So post your questions below. I'll try to get back to you as, as much as I can or make some new videos, hopefully helping you all. So if you want to learn the basics about starting a Wix website and give yourself a really great homepage to start with and just learn all the ins and outs, I have a course on my website called the Rick's Wix Roadmap course. Um, it's on the wixcollective.com slash Wix Roadmap. And I would love to have you in there. Um, and if you're looking for something in particular, if you would like more like one-on-one um, -on -one consulting or uh, maybe a site audit or something, just comment below or send me an email. I would love to know what you yourself are looking for and uh, help as many people as possible because I believe that Wix is a great platform and it's been really, really good to me and my clients. So I'd love to help more people create successful professional Wix websites. Thank you.